let's discuss power of accommodation. The ability of your eye lens to actually adjust or change the focal length to see nearby as well as far away objects, it is known as power of accommodation of the eye. You're, you're, you're able to see me, your eye lens is adjusting the focal length. You're able to see a far away object, then again your eye lens is adjusting the focal length. And this is known as power of accommodation. The ability of your eye lens to see nearby as well as far away objects clearly, it is known as power of accommodation. Then your eyes have light and dark adaptation. Let's see what is light adaptation and what is dark adaptation. You all have uh, a thorough idea about the pupil in the eye, right? So what happens when you actually go from a brighter room to a darker room? Your pupil is going to dilate. This is going to dilate so that more and more light can enter into your eyes and you can actually see the objects in the darker room. So it is known as light adaptation. It is known as light adaptation. And for this, rhodopsin pigment is responsible, right? So after some time, you'll be able to see the objects in the darker room because of the dilation of the pupil and more amount of light is going to enter into your eyes. Next, look at this dark adaptation. Now, when you do the opposite, means when you're going to go from a darker room to a brighter room, your pupil is going to get contracted. You can see the size of the pupil is going to get reduced. It is going to get contracted. Now, this contraction is for the protection of your eyes so that less light is going to enter into your eyes and this is going to prevent any sort of damage to the eyes because if brighter light is going to enter directly into the eyes then this can cause damage to the to the sensitive organ that is your eye right so this is light and dark adaptation then we have stereoscopic vision now stereoscopic vision is also known as binocular vision. It is known as binocular vision. It is there in apes, it is there in all of us, in human beings. So what is stereoscopic vision? This means that when you are able to actually locate the distances, you are able to judge the distances accurately, it is known as stereoscopic vision or binocular vision. So it is because of your two eyes. We don't have one eye, right? We have two eyes. So two eyes are there. God has gifted you this, these two eyes so that you can judge the distances accurately. And this type of vision is known as stereoscopic vision or binocular vision, right? So when you will see the object from all the angles and a three-dimensional image is formed by the brain, then in this way you can actually measure the or you can say locate the distance accurately. So what you can do, just close one of your eye and just look at the object and then open the next, open the another eye and then look at the object. You will see that there is change in the distance, there is change in the location. But when you see the object with both the eyes open, then you will actually make out the accurate distance. You can actually locate the accurate distance. So this type of vision by which your two eyes are able to locate the distance of the object accurately, this type of vision is known as stereoscopic vision or binocular vision.